Hey guys, it's Aaron Lori with Plan Free. Just uh, hanging out in small town Mexico here. Oh, I think that's your phone. Hello? Oh, hey Selma. Long time no speak. What's it been, like an hour? Yep, we're on our way to the restaurant right now. We look forward to seeing you also. Yeah, he's here right beside me. One sec. Oh, hey girl. Oh, yeah. yeah, we know you have a new movie you told us uh, one or two times earlier today. Yeah, yeah, we've been meaning to. We haven't uh, found time to watch it yet, but we will. It's, uh, it's the internals, right? The Eternals, yeah, that's right, that's it. Yeah, for sure, we're looking forward to it too. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love that Iron Man suit that you bought for me. I, I wear it all the time. He's wearing it right now. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing it right now. Oh, what's that? I can't hear her. Okay, yeah, hi back to Angelina. Yes, we will watch the movie for sure. And yeah, we are on our way to her place tomorrow and we'll go to the beach for sure. Okay, well, we're gonna head to the restaurant. We'll be there in a few minutes. All right. No, you hang up. No, hang up. Okay, I'm hanging up. Bye, Selma. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so. Where were we? Recently we flew, I guess it'd be about four days ago, uh, from our neck of the woods to Mexico City and then on to the town we're going to be spending three months in here. If you'd like to follow more of our experiences in Mexico over the next six months, click subscribe to our channel and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. If you'd like to support the channel for free, click the like button and maybe watch a few more of our videos. So we wanted to take you through uh, what our experience was with the 180 d sorry 180 day Mexico visa because we had been hearing from people that there's been some changes in the policy recently and that uh, some people were not receiving their 180 day standard no questions asked like it used to be so mm -hmm. we're going to give you a little bit of an update which is keep in mind it's just our experience that we had experiences will vary from location to location. So because of what we had been hearing, uh, that some people were being um, given shorter stays or the duration of their vacations, or sometimes even rejected altogether, we, um, we decided to make a few preparations before we flew down this time, uh, just to sort of increase the odds that we would receive our 180 day stay, because in our case, we were planning to use the entire 180 days and maybe I'll have Lori go through and touch on some of the things that we did to prepare for the trip. So what were we doing uh, in response? We, um, we, we did two things for sure. The first was we made sure to handwrite or print out the address uh, of the apartment that we rented. One thing we changed a little is when I printed it out what we had booked. We had only booked the first 10 days and we were going to hit the road and look for a more local apartment. I didn't want the immigration officer necessarily seeing that we only had a place for 10 days. So I just kind of scrapped that plan and instead of printing out my reservation, I simply hand wrote the address. So I had a postal code in Mexico and the whole bit to show. The irony there is she didn't even ask, but we'll get to that in a minute. And the second thing we did is Air and I talked together we just decided it would be safer and no skin off our backs because we were only planning to stay the 180 days anyway and not overstay and not border hop and come right back. So we just counted out 180 days and we booked a flight back to Canada from Mexico City. So wherever we are in the ginormous country of Mexico, we'll just make our way back to Mexico City and fly home mm -hmm. within the time frame allotted by uh, the Mexican government. Right. Uh, so another thing that we uh, 
did was we printed out our proof of accommodation. Did you talk about that already? I did talk about that. Never I hand, mind. I hand wrote it down. I must have blacked out because of the heat. <laughs> it's pretty hot here for and a it's Canadian. Like, it's like nearly 5 p.m. and we're like wiping our mustaches Three off. Three days in here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, another thing that we thought about doing and chose not to uh, at the last minute was we considered printing out uh, proof of solvency, um, you know, basically available funds to leave the country if need be. But we chose uh, at the end not to go ahead and do that. So if that's something you guys want to do, it's probably never a bad idea. If any of you out there have had a recent uh, experience flying or crossing any sort of border into Mexico and you've had an experience that was out of the ordinary, let's say you didn't automatically get your 180-day uh, visa, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, comment below, tell us your story, mm -hmm. and we can all compare notes in the comments. So to our experience, like I mentioned before, we, um, we flew into Mexico City. For us anyway, we were, we were dressed fairly uh, clean and tidy. Uh, we had showered that week. <laughs> I shaved. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but the the immigration officer that we received anyway didn't have very many questions for us. She perused our passport and then uh, she looked at our FMM and she pretty much uh, just kind of auto gave us 180 days, which is what we wanted. So for us, uh, the procedure hadn't really changed. I'm sure the immigration officer saw that we hadn't been to Mexico for since 2017, so about four years. She could see that we had been to a number of different countries in the meantime. And so, buenas tardes. And so she could tell that we were coming and going from many different countries and not staying or overstaying the allowed time. So your experience is going to vary from ours, of course. We're only one situation. Like, it's going to depend on the location that you're trying to enter through. It will depend on the immigration officer that you get, the mood that that officer's in, whether they're bloated or not, and on and on. Whether Mexico is still interested in scrutinizing travelers further on this procedure like they are, have been currently, or that it, it was rumored to be they were interested in it recently. So some of the tips that we can offer, and we're not experts, of course, but some of the things that it would seem to us that might increase your odds of getting through the border might include things like, as mentioned before, when you show up to the border, sort of be presentable, cleaned up in a decent outfit. I mean, of course, these are just things to consider. We're not telling you what to do. <laughs> if you like coming to Mexico often, you're probably a person that likes to do whatever they want and no one tell them what to do. So these are just sort of things to consider. Mm -hmm. Show up clean and tidy. Uh, yeah. Consider pre-booking a return flight out of Mexico <coughs> for the duration of your stay or the 180 days, whatever it might be, so that in a pinch you could show the officer that to sort of prove your intention of eventually leaving the country. Uh, in conjunction with that, you can print out proof of your accommodations uh, to be able to provide them an address that you're staying in. Like uh, we mentioned, uh, we thought about uh, doing but we didn't is printing out uh, your bank accounts, proof of solvency, whatever. You may want to consider learning some Spanish, maybe enough to be able to converse with the immigration officer in their language. Uh, and uh, maybe keep in mind that it's a privilege to be granted 180 day stay in Mexico, so it's not a right that's bestowed to us. It's a privilege that's uh, given to us. So if you're able to ask, maybe even say please in Spanish uh, when you're requesting 180 days, that may help. If you're following the rules, we think that you probably shouldn't have much problem for the most part, generally speaking. If you are truly staying 180 days and then leaving Mexico, you should be fine. If you're attempting or habitually sort of pushing the system and turning the 180 day stay into a 363 day stay where you're staying, leaving for two days and then coming back to the country essentially living here, we think that you will more than likely or you will more likely be targeted than someone who is following the 180 day uh, sort of precedent. Mm -hmm. We've also heard that they're targeting people that look a certain way. Um, like it or not, that's kind of the world. So if you show up uh, and you look like everything you own is in your backpack and that once you arrive, you may not be able to leave, 
you might want to be prepared to answer more questions. If you're interested to look more into Mexico, we recommend you watch this video next. Hasta luego, amigos. Hasta luego, amigos. <laughs> Hasta luego, amigos. Que la vaya bien. Cien ochenta días. Adios. Okay. Dude, que la vaya bien.